When you laugh, the whole world laughs with you. When you weep, you weep alone. But here in my room, nobody sees or hears me. When I laugh, I laugh alone. When I weep, I weep alone. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help me. I'm stuck. I miss my wife. I miss my daughter. My sweet pea. Daughter. I'm stuck. Daughter. I'm stuck. Oh, daughter. Daddy's stuck in his room. Ooh, daddy's stuck? Let your good girl help you. Whoops, it looks like we've got the wrong copy of Old Boy. But did we though? Because Old Boy's plot isn't that far from what you saw. In fact, if you've got to any porn sites and saw a video titled Hypnotized Daughter Helps Her Stuck Father, that just might be Old Boy. Because believe me, Old Boy is one of the filthiest movies you can find. <laughs> <laughs> Old Boy is a 2003 Korean film directed by Park Chan-wook. It is a film that shows Oh Dae-woo's story. A man who's been mysteriously held captive for 15 years. He was only set free to fulfill the revenge fantasy of a man named Lee Woo-jin, who was rumored to have an incestuous affair with his sister. And what is the climax of Woo-jin's revenge? to make Daesu also have an incestuous relationship with his daughter, Mido. I know the film's main twist is super fucked up, as it may require a lot of suspension of disbelief. The act of ignoring the impossibility or impracticality of an event for the sake of catharsis, the dramatic effect or emotional release. But you know, Many types of stories require suspension of disbelief. Like when a problematic vlogger cries in their apology video with 10 mid-roll ads. We need to suspend our disbelief that they're being sincere with their apology. Or like when we were kids watching Dora the Explorer act as if she hears the directions we shout at the screen to make it interactive. We need to willfully ignore how ridiculously impossible or fake those things are to feel something. But luckily, Park Chan-wook's old boy is filmed in a distinctly surreal style. Unconnected scenes seemingly intercut with each other. Take these scenes for example. <laughs> This type of transition invites us to not take the film too seriously. It is not to think of it as something that happens in real life, but a grand unfolding of a particular story. It's as if we're watching a dream happen, and that's exactly what the surrealists want. That's what Park Chan-wook wants us to experience. He wants us to be entranced and go along with Daesu's hypnotism. And as a result, to be as puzzled and ashamed as him at the end of the film. As if we have had a bad dream. As if we were waking up from a trance. And speaking of dreams and hypnotism, there is an exciting way to look at how old boy story is presented. To explain it, we must look at the parallels between the film's beginning and end. The opening shot of the film usually gives us everything we need. It immediately gives us the idea of who might be the protagonist and the antagonist. But for old boy's opening shot, we might just be confused. But what if we're right? What if Daesu is indeed the protagonist? Well, that's obvious for the rest of the film, but also, what if the suicidal man is the main antagonist? We saw the opening shot repeated near the film's 20 minute mark and it gave us more information. We knew that the guy who was about to jump from the rooftop was holding a puppy, and he asks Daesu this specific question. And to draw parallels on its ending, we know that Wu Jin lives in a penthouse, which makes the beginning and the end happen in a high place. Wu Jin has a sidekick, Mr. Han, who has white hair. This might be parallel to the suicidal man's puppy. Wu Jin shot Mr. Han. The man died by falling from the rooftop, 
Wu Jin died by shooting his head while going down via elevator. The mirror shots are a direct parallel. This readies us for Wu Jin's big expose. This also means that a significant flip or reversal is happening. At the beginning of the film, Dae Su said that he wants to tell his story to the man before jumping off the rooftop. The man empathized with him but didn't listen to his story. In the end, Wu Jin tells his story and did not give a damn about Dae Su's feelings. This is a perfect parallel that paints a picture of revenge. But aside from that, given the parallels mentioned earlier, this might also mean that the real Wu Jin was the suicidal man from the beginning. We might know why the man would want to kill himself, but he implies that he has done something grave. Daisu repeated this, implying that he was affected by it, and he even noted this as the last sentence to the letter he gave to the hypnotist. The same hypnotist early in the film. That is why the concept of dream or trance is important because we might just be watching Daisu under the trance of the hypnotist. What we might be seeing are the distorted, exaggerated memories that Daisu was trying to forget. That may be why Old Boy is also classified as a psychological thriller. Because what we are seeing is a mix of what is real and what is only existing in the mind of our protagonist. Much like in Fight Club or Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Well, that's all we could chip in for the flick we discussed today. If you love this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Again, this is Flick and Chips.